it's 5am and welcome to Vlog Sustainable Team. Oh my god, it's freezing. We're still in the UK. Oh, it's 5am. We haven't caught our flight yet. We're at Stanford Airport, just parking up and we're frozen. How are we going to survive? Are you not in this? Yet. <laughs> How are we going to survive in Oslo? I, f I, f I feel tired and my hair looks weird with a bit in the middle. I've got three tops on and a jumper and a coat and I'm freezing. This is me, like I'm always hot and sweaty, which is what I'm moaning about. <sighs> I have a bag with jumper and hat and everything ready to wear. <laughs> I have a hat, oh, thank God I have my hat. I should have my earmuffs as well and gloves yeah. and a scarf and a thermos. We have all the layers. Someone did tell me here, oh, Mark. Really awesome. Just wearing Tim's for the first time. First like, time in years, years, I think. Like ever. <laughs> this is the first time I had Tim's. I used to have pink ones, didn't I? Blue baby. Anyway, blue <laughs> anyway <laughs> should we go? Okay. What you... Yeah. We have just landed to this. Oh my god. We have landed in Oslo. We had like a an hour's pit stop to the toilet, so we were taking it in turns to go and like put our thermals on. And now I am sweating away. I hit the hair oh, that's stay bomb, up. It? We're still bomb, doesn't it? We're still bomb or bum? Bum, no, bum, bum, so bubble. Don't say bomb in an airport, would you? Sorry, we've just got to Oslo. Uh, we're still in the airport. We're trying to Google where the Christmas markets are because we found some stuff on Google last night, but it wasn't in English. Then we're going to try and get a tram or a train and head that way because we literally have zero plans and it is snowing outside which we kind of knew but it's so beautiful honestly that's just trying to be clever run 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 oh my god you actually did it i thought it would get stuck they're gone because they do both ways <laughs> ah the first one got stuck he's so funny God. So we initially flew all the way to Oslo. <laughs> I can't believe I'm telling people this. Um, to go to this Indian restaurant. I was telling you guys in yesterday's video. Yeah, I like food. <laughs> we all like food. <laughs> and it was the best Indian restaurant we've we ever all been love to food. in our entire lives. <laughs> and like when Vinny had checked online like early last week, it said it was temporarily closed. We've just checked I again. I wanted to cry. <laughs> <laughs> we just checked again. Apparently it's open. She tried to call them, but it was all in like Norwegian. Is that the language? Yeah. yeah. So she couldn't understand it. They're actually open till three o'clock, but she's able to book a table online for 4.30 for dinner. And we're going to the Christmas markets. This is so exciting. I like a potato because my hair's <laughs> up. But yeah, I do have hair there. You're welcome. And just to be sure that you're using the right one. Thank you. There you are. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you too. Okay. We're in the train station and I remember watching somebody's vlog, this guy that basically travels the world but he doesn't take any money with him and he literally tries, he gets like places to stay for free and food for free like wherever he goes and I remember he vlogged this shop called Narvison in Oslo, I think it's like their equivalent of like WH Smith's or like Greg's or something, it's all over the place. I told these guys to download the app. Mm. We're not getting off me. <laughs> we have I haven't got the registration code yet. Well, I've got he the code. did it too early before I I was trying to process it in my head. I'm like, you download the app, but it's something you have to do and it's not in English. And then suddenly I was like, oh guys, have to put today is your birthday to get like the free food. It didn't yeah, let yeah, me do that. Me. <laughs> already I already registered by then. It didn't let me put today's date as my birthday. It let me put it, but I've got a registration code, no, 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 but no, no, it hasn't like, worked. You didn't say you born today, did you? Not today's date. Oh, not, not 2019. You're still, still at 1985 or whatever. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 She's like, hang on a minute. I bought a bottle of coffee. You should have seriously come out of the hospital. So, basically, the you get a free coffee is a, is a, is a <laughs> and a croissant on your birthday. No, 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 no. According to this video, that like, ever. Season. She didn't even get a card. At least we registered. <laughs> we're, 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 all three of us failed, really. Basically, all three. 
still try it. Basically, I got the code, but she didn't tell me you have to put today's date. She got to try to put today's date, which is <laughs> today's year, like 2019. I didn't know it was about your birthday. Today's... I just thought it meant today, first time you mentioned stuff. Yeah, something. I was born today. Oh, yeah, it did say your birthday. Yeah, I actually Googled that, didn't I? Oh. <laughs> anyway, should we just try it anyway? Let's try it anyway. Let's try it. Let's try it. Coffee and croissant. I don't want a coffee because I can't have milk, so you can have my coffee, just if it doesn't work for you. Oh, hi. Um, do you get coffee and a croissant with this app? Uh, yes, but you have to register. I just but, registered, but, but, but you, I haven't but you got... Can get, uh, you get it for 30 anyway. Sorry? You get it for 30 anyway, so oh. uh, it's no discount with the app. Oh, it's not discounted no. with the app? Oh, I, th I thought it was free coffee and free croissant with the app. Uh, no. For your birthday. No, then you have to buy. You have to buy five first, and then you get for free. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Don't worry then. Thank okay. you. Thanks. Thanks. What do you do? Oh my God! What the hell? <laughs> I just took my hair down. I washed it. Can you hold my hat, please? I washed my hair last night and put it up into a bun. Slept with it and left it like this like the whole time. We tried to get a free croissant, and everyone looked at us like cheapskate Indians. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it, me because I was the one asking. Look, you don't ask, you don't get. Okay. Apparently, it doesn't work, or she didn't understand me, or whatever. I didn't emphasize that it was my birthday. Today. Obviously, it isn't. Is that better? I mean, the hat's gonna flatten it. Yeah, I took it down so it don't look an egg just put my hat on. That's your hat. <laughs> right, can we move now? That's better. <laughs> that was my hat once. Oh, it was. I tried it on once, stretched it. It's not gonna. It's not gonna fit me anymore. It's not it's it's out. Still <laughs> Can you take it for me, please? Yeah, take it for you. Sorry. Can you 360? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put the hand down for me, yeah? And a happy new year. I wish you a merry Christmas. <laughs> I wish you a merry Christmas. Oh, Alfred. Alfred. Hello. Hello. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the Christmas market called Christmas Village, but we're actually all quite hungry because we won't all wake up at 2.30 in the morning to get our flight here and it is now, God, it is now 20 past 12, so we're starving and we haven't been eating, we just grabbed a croissant at the airport because we're running late. So we've got this restaurant called Egon, which is like quite across the road from the market. And actually it's really funny because I think this is like a chain in Oslo and me and Jess went to this place last time we were here three years years ago and I was telling Benita about this because when we were last here I said to him that the food's really good and I couldn't remember what we'd ordered or anything like that and I didn't remember the cuisine I just remember saying to him the food's so good if ever we come back we'll eat here and we've ended up here again it's so busy <coughs> the queue was like literally out the door and around the corner like behind us but I'll show you the menu now it's so good because they have a whole meat free section and I do remember now I had the fajitas last time I'm tempted to get them again um, Scandinavia is like, actually really good for like vegetarian and vegan food that's one thing I remember we all went for an avocado sandwich a really nice lunch now back at the Christmas village it's so nice here. it's definitely a lot busier now though now that it's the afternoon and not morning there's Jas with his 360 camera oh my god there's Olaf on that bubble waffle oh that's amazing that's quite look cool look at that, that bubble waffle how incredible does that look I want one oh, the you see the marshmallow with the uh, yes yeah, Olaf no, the other one, the one They're on the left. They're £12.50 though. <laughs> a chocolate win, look, Scolado win. Do you want to go? Check her out in her element, taking a photo. No, I don't How is it? <laughs> this is so pretty. <laughs> so, so pretty. Forgotten the words. <laughs> this is Christmas. <laughs> Oslo. Oslo! I stumbled upon this like, little indoor market and it's all like arts and crafts. It's so cool.
What's that? Don't cry like that. So we've come down to like the river, no, the sea, <laughs> for a walk in search of coffee. And this couple, oh, before he bent, is he going to propose? Oh. He's walking away. He looked like he was going to propose. Or they look like they're either going to push like each push other him? into the water. No, he's just taking photos of her. We're such idiots. <laughs> so we left the uh, Christmas markets to go in search of coffee. Didn't find the coffee, but we saw the sea. So we thought we'd like stop here. We'll walk down here and come and take some photos, but oh my god, it is freezing. I'm starting to flag a little bit. I really want a coffee. These two actually had one with lunch, so they're all right. But I'm actually really cold. My head is cold. I think I just want to like sit down more than anything else. No, we um, oh no, there's police on horses. These two are, oh my god. I was gonna say these two laugh at where I look. Um, I can see why now. Jesus, it's so cold though. Like, you won't believe how many layers I'm wearing. And my face is this colour, isn't it? Yes. That's your enough. face? Yeah, you're, you got you're normal. Why am I so weird? And the thing is, my hat looks stupid. My hair up and down. Because when it's down and it's raining, it just goes bush and it, out on both sides. I look really stupid actually. I look like a. Trump. Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry. Finally, we see a coffee bean in the distance and it's Espresso House. So happy about this. Finally got my coffee. Yep. Look at this hat. This was my hat once. The Nish wore it. It went so big <laughs> that you can actually wear on top of the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of hair and the thing is I look so stupid because I don't know what my hair is doing to be honest because it keeps raining on and off. So I don't want it, like, I don't know, it's just annoying me when it's down. And when it's up, my hat looks better, but it kind of stands up a bit coney with this. And when my hair's down, my hat, my hair just goes all frizzy on either side. It goes whoosh, and it's just disgusting. So I look like a state, but whatever. We're now just sitting outside the coffee shop in the freezing cold weather because there's no seats inside. It's been a really fun day, hasn't it, Jess? Very fun day, but it's cold. That's what we need my really cold. espresso. Espresso, yeah. not espresso. <laughs> oh man, I just cannot get comfortable out here. I'm exhausted. I'm too old to be doing these day trips. I'm headless. That is my compadre. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So weird. Yeah. Hopefully our tram's late because I want to hear the song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> he twisted my wrist. <laughs> I love that. We just got off a tram, the one before this. I always break my wrist trying to steady myself. So I was trying to film and it like went round a corner in like fifth gear or whatever it was. Their trams are lethal, but my wrist really hurts. Shut up! Anyway. We are now going to Mr. India, which is now called Mantra by Mr. India. Okay. The whole reason we're in Oslo, Let me we are having one. a very early dinner at 4.30 p.m. We've timed it because they give you a two hour time slot with the table and... Sorry, what? So we've timed it so that we have a two hour time slot with the table, so we should be done by 6.30 and then it takes like half an hour to an hour to get to the airport, which is perfect timing to check in for our flight home. Yeah. It's all very exciting. Wait for the tram. We found it. It's on Dronings Gate or Dronings Garter, as they call it here. We hope it's the same one. It used to be called Mr. India when we first came, all three of us. And we think it's changed names to Mantra by Mr. India. Hopefully it's still just as good. We're so excited and not really that hungry, I must admit. Oh, yeah. Hello, hi. Hi. Yeah. We just checked with the guy. It's the same restaurant and we're kind of sat in the same sort of area, but just look at their decor, it's beautiful. It's a bit Moroccan, like their lamps are very Moroccan for an Indian restaurant, but you know, what can you do? <laughs> you had the tasting menu last time, didn't you? Yes, I did. They have it this time as well. It's actually not badly priced I think I considering. Had the tasting menu. I feel like I did. You probably did. I feel like it's a very you thing. <laughs> but it's actually not badly priced, like the vegetarian ones, about. £55 per person, which no, is not, yeah. like, like considering this is Oslo, it's really not badly priced at all. We're not going to go for that today though, because we're really like none of us are that hungry. But just look at their like puns, play on words. I don't know, it's so funny. Go to be kidding, dear fellow, Nazi birds. What was the other one you said? It takes two to mango. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to go with paneer, even though I'm not the biggest fan of paneer, it's what I had here last time and I loved. At the time I was a big fan of paneer. Are you? Yeah, I used to love paneer, I don't like it anymore. No, are you having it? Oh, are you not? I don't know. Oh no, you got me thinking. I think. I feel like, you know when you just want the same thing, so you don't want to be disappointed. I think you get like, you used to get like rice and a naan with your curries. I'm sure they used to do that. This is the funniest name ever, True Brit Masala, because chicken tikka masala is not actually an Indian dish, it's just a thing that British people like made up. It's like chow mein. It's yeah, it's like chow mein, isn't it? <laughs> True Brit Masala. <laughs> you should say get that dress. <laughs> the first one's Dicky Chance on me. What? In the starters, Dicky Chance on me. Where are you looking? In the starters. Why can't... Oh, Tiki Jasper. <laughs> when <laughs> just got a polar beer. <laughs> Such a funny name. That is Benita's huge apple juice. Apparently, it was voted the best in Norway, and she's really happy that it's a huge one because that is like nine pounds for apple juice. Cheers, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. I do. Try 
trying to take photos are really impatient. That's true, but it's still a little bit like trying to rush you along. Generally, I asked if you're ready. I asked if she's ready. I did used to be like that, but I took my own photos. And I don't like my food cold. I like hot food. She's very like, what quick, I just take a photo and eat. No, what I said to her is, are you ready? Because I didn't want to ruin her photo by starting to take my food. Today, okay, can I just so say? Let's to be today, I okay, just want today she was ready. We haven't been out for a while where she's taking photos. So she's basing this information on very, very historic information. It's historic, very but historic. it's happened all the time. <laughs> Apart from today, she was good today, and it was great. But it doesn't matter, it's not a bad thing, because I have a right to eat hot food. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. But I just want to take blog photos, because I want to write a blog post on this restaurant. Mm -hmm. How's your meal? Oh, mine's really good. It's quite spicy, but it's tasty as well. Here's it's quite, it's like... Quite and... So you can choose your spice level here. One is mild, two is medium, three is medium plus, four strong, five is madras, and six is vintage. How good is my memory? And he, like, she, I got a two because I'm like a complete wimp when it comes to spice. She got a three, he got a four, and like it was spicy, right? Mine was really spicy. I think I, even though I went for five, I swear I went for like a madras or something. I thought, okay, this is there was a big go. jump, I think, between the three and the four. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna sit here for a bit, then get the tram back to the central station and head to the airport. Our day of fun is over. Your day of fun with Nishi is over, guys. How do you feel? Day of madness. So what? Day of madness is over, isn't it? <laughs> so rude. <laughs> Was that's the central station. Yeah, we got, did we go back where we get the train to yeah. the airport? But that's the Egon restaurant. You can't even yeah. see in this camera. We got evacuated. There was like a, a suspicious package or something. So the train station was closed. We thought we'd miss our flight the last time we were here. And we sat at this restaurant and ordered food and like basically hoped for the best because we had no money left to get a uh, taxi to the airport. And we made it back on time. Hi, guys. So... <laughs> you only said one word. We're going back Go. now, let me, this is what we will be doing. Let me count to five, yeah? Jingle bells, jingle bells, <laughs> jingle bells rock. What song are you singing? What I was trying to say is we sleep in heavenly. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be singing that song. Are you so going? we're going back to Oslo, oh no. We're going back to the airport, we're going back home, and what we will do is... Sleep in heavenly <laughs> Sleep. Trying to be part of um, gospel. Gospel. Uh, I can't gloss the picture. <laughs> you two are crazy. All is this man is like giving us the dirtiest of looks. Where? The guy drinking coffee and he's with his. Oh, where are you? So I've been annoying Benita <laughs> and I keep singing, and this is what happens to her. <laughs> Yeah, I want that mic, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> well, who gives it back? I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. Okay, stop. Underneath the Christmas tree, Santa Claus will make me happy. <laughs> Give myself like a facial at the airport because I hate wearing makeup on the flight. So I literally like cleanse my entire face and like put on serum and moisturizer, all Clinique products. They were great. Had to use a tissue there. There was no cotton wool pads. Sorry, I'm really close. I'm actually on the plane, and um, we've all been playing like musical chairs with the seats. 
because like, this plane seems to be half empty, I don't want to jinx it, um, which is great because obviously Ryanair and their seats are super uncomfortable. So me and Jess are sat next to each other, but no one in the middle. And Benita is just there. She's like really excited because some good looking man walked past her and she nearly gave herself whiplash. You nearly gave herself whiplash because that guy walked past you. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow with Lovely Day 15, I think. Bye. I'm going to start a slapping like singing words. <laughs>